Hey, what's going on, everybody? Didn't think I would make it this week, did ya? Well, uh, yeah, uh, usually I do these on Tuesdays, but as everybody else, uh, cold's going around, so missed out on Tuesday, but I was able to catch up on Thursday, and this week uh, I watched Get Out, uh, which was, uh, I think, maybe a directorial debut for Jordan Peele um, from Key and Peele. And uh, starring Daniel Kaluuya, Allison Williams, one of my favorites, Bradley Whitford, and uh, another one of my favorites, Katherine Keener. And I have to say that this is a film that everyone should see. It was excellent, 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 excellent. It was a very old fashioned style thriller. I thought. Jordan Peele really nailed it on this. Very Hitchcockian. Very, I mean, he just drew from a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, those that. I mean, this is an old-fashioned thriller. This is something you don't normally see, uh, uh, and uh, he nailed it. He nailed it. The, the storyline was there. Um, even though you could probably predict some things, he still got you, uh, and it was just absolutely fabulous the way that this whole setup the music the uh the the beats of the shots on how they were edited um i was blown away um they had you on the edge of your seat almost from the beginning he really uh, i mean even having the character as a uh photographer meant that there's going to be some frames you know some framing things that they would do with the camera during the movie and uh it was just absolutely outstanding the way that this film was laid out um i didn't know i heard a lot of rave reviews about it didn't know what to really expect but man i was real impressed with the way with this and they even had the nice comic relief with his friend i can't remember the actor's name right off right off hand but i mean the way that this was lined up um uh it was just really really well done um like I said, you don't see thrillers like this, uh, like this good, this, this good. I mean, it had you, I, I know I need to settle down on that fact. I understand, um, a couple of, uh, I, I, there's not really not much I didn't like about this movie. I, I thought that, you know, they, the way they line things up with some of the, uh, stereotypes and some of the, you know, uh, some of that setup. I mean, character development was slow and steady, and then all of a sudden it turned, and it, you know there was a uh, a quick snap, and all of a sudden you're in a completely different situation, and that was great for the audience because they played to the audience and what they what they might expect. And holy crap, this just turned really quick, really quick for a segment of the audience. Maybe not for some others who are viewing this movie. And there was warning signs, and they did a good job, man. And a couple of other things, uh, to, a couple of uh, scenes to watch for. Um, I really enjoyed the Katherine Keener scene of the the hypnotism, and then also another another. I'm not going to spoil any of the movie, uh, but another uh, uh, slight foreshadowing with the Stephen Root scene, um, because. It was just um, almost like a safety net for the care for the main character, Daniel Kaluuya's character, Kaluuya. Um, yeah, but I highly recommend seeing this movie. You won't be disappointed. Um, I didn't think it dragged, um, and it just was real good set up from the end. Uh, the crazy brother, all that stuff. So, highly recommend this movie. So, uh, what did you think? I mean, I really enjoyed it. Um, there may have been some things that you saw that I may not have seen, you know, uh, you know, just your overall thoughts of this and let me know if you like these and uh, so yeah, get out, get out and go see this movie. It's great. And uh, so next week I will probably be hitting up Kong Skull Island. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.